this is Jen from Medicine Power. This video is for power battery connection and communication setting instruction with Glova of Green Inverter. Also, we will guide you how to use the Apple software to monitor the battery information through the computer. It is very simple, just see the video you will understand. First part, we will guide you how to monitor the latent data of power battery via the Apple software on computer. First, Please press the button of the battery to active it. Yes, then you can see that the battery on of LED is on the green lighting. Then we need to turn on the air switch or we call it breaker by many customers. Then we need to get this RS232 communication cable. One end of the cable is connected USB port of the computer and the other end is connected battery RS232 port. Connect the both sides of the cable. This one is for connect the computer USB port. Then this one is for connect the battery RS232 port. Okay, the connection is connected well. Then we can open the software on the computer. We will provide you the software document. You just download it on computer and empty the battery software file into a folder. This is a necessary step. Otherwise, you cannot open the software and communicate the battery successfully if you directly click the complex file. Also, another point, please make sure your computer has installed the USB driver. Now, we can open the Apple software folder and then double-click the software to turn on it. Confirm that the Apple software can recognize the CAM port on the series port position and then click open to communicate with battery. When the cam position display normal, that means the communication is successful. You can clearly see the latent battery data from the pages. If the communication is failure and the monitoring interface does not display any information, put a check and confirm the cam port is selected correctly. You can try other cam ports here and the communication cable is connected well. Latent monitoring interface is the main monitoring interface which can view all the information of the battery pack, like the battery voltage, current, SOC, capacity, battery cycle, its cells voltage, etc. Click Multi-Monitoring and then select Data Save to Database to display the battery information in real time. Click Export here can save the battery information in Excel format. Click Memory Info to enter the history interface and then select Lay to read the history. When no more data is displayed, it means reading is completed. Select Save As to save the history in Excel file and can send to Medicine Technical Team to analyze if needed. Click Parameter Setting to enter the parameter setting interface and click Lay All can lay all alarm and protection parameters. For example, OV means over voltage alarm or protection, over current under voltage alarm, and so on. Click System Config to enter the system configuration interface. Non-professionals are not allowed to operate. When you want to check multi-power on Apple software, compare the battery's RS485 port together with the net cable, and dial address for each battery. Choose one of them as the host battery. Use communication cable to connect its RS232 port with computer USB. Then you can view the information of all batteries. Okay, above is the instructions for Apple software monitoring of power battery. Second part will guide you the communication setting between power lithium battery and inverter. This is a 48V 10kWh medicine power battery. This is Glova 48V 5kWh. 
single phase SPF of good inverter. Before the connection, police made a battery and inverter on closed data to ensure the safe operation. Then we can use a DC cable to connect the positive and negative terminal from the battery to inverter. Okay, let's get start the connection of the cables. Cables were connected well. We use this type of a super soft and pure copper power cable. This has a highly flexible, high temperature resistance is up to 200 degrees. Also supported more than 100 ampere for the continuous charge and discharge current of EMS. That comply with safe current working standards. No fear it will be damaged by heating after charging and discharging for a long time. Next step, we can use this communication cable to connect the battery cam port to inverter BMS interface. Okay, let's connect the battery cam port and this one to connect the inverter BMS port. Also, please take a uh, important step. Remember to fire the adjust for the battery. If a single battery communicates with the inverter, you can fire the address of the battery in one. Like this. Why are multi batteries in parallel to communicate with inverters? Use the address of the host battery and the slave batteries are different. Besides, you need to use the net or LAN cables to connect each battery RS485 port. After connecting well the communication cable and the fire address of the battery, let's start the battery and inverter. Press the power button to active the battery. And then, push the air switch to on position. Finally, we need to turn on the inverter breaker. Well, next we can make the lithium communication between the inverter and battery EMS. Need to set the battery type as B. In program 05, you can press the up and down. Like this. And then for our this power model, the default BMS protocol is D52. So now the setting of the communication between the battery and inverter is OK. Then you can view the battery daytime information from the inverter LCD screen. OK, today's instruction about battery daytime monitoring and the communication compatible setting between the power battery and global off-grid inverter is only that. Please follow up our YouTube channel. Next video will guide you the other inverter setting with the lithium battery. See you soon.